Welcome back. I'm going to be making just a quick video about BBY, the short squeeze, and uh, how it's affecting the stock movement. This is just on the stock movement, and I can learn a lot about the company. I'm going to go over different levels and what to watch as the day goes on and moving forward with BBY. Okay, so let's hop in over to the chart real quick. This morning we started off down probably down 4 or 5%. We got down to the, we'll just map this out, the 320 mark. Um, but going forward, we're going to be watching certain areas. I already kind of mapped them out here, but between 446 and 550, basically, there's a lot of buyers and sellers right here. So if we want anything really, really crazy to happen today, you're going to need to get above these levels and hang out for a little bit. Um, we kind of rejected off the top, also the bottom. This is a zone where we just expect to see a lot of buyers and sellers showing up. Now, getting above that, that's going to be a pretty important level as you're going to see people start to maybe close out their shorts or big funds close out the shorts because at that point it's it looks like no returns area so you're probably looking for it to get above 550 and hang out for a minute and then then we could start seeing some crazy stuff happening um but right now right now it's looking fairly strong volume's a little bit lower than it has been previously not necessarily a bad thing but just something to note When momentum picks up, this should start popping up on people's scanners, and then momentum traders might start getting involved. Hopefully, if you're going up to the upside, hopefully to the upside for you. But it's going to be important to watch the, the 450 to 550 level. And then if we get going crazy from there, uh, let's head out to a four-hour chart. Uh, probably see some turmoil around this 850 to 950 territory too. So basically first stop, 850, 950, second stop, 1180 to 1290. Um, but you gotta get it above this first zone at 446 and 554. Um, not much else to say there. If you're looking at this company as a real investment, I would think twice about that. I am no financial advisor, so you do your own due diligence, but this is just a little bit of two cents. It looks like right now, if we go back, some people like to follow the one minute and day trade this. Um, one minute, you got a little bull flag. This might get up a little bit after something happens here, but um, breaking above this would be a good sign. Breaking below this is probably a bad sign, okay? 